So here we're comparing now the super clear LCD on the Samsung Galaxy R with the Super AMOLED uh, Plus on the S2. And I'm going to try to show some angles, some viewing angles. The viewing angles seem kind of similar. And if I go here, same. Right here. Let's try to have it next to each other. Looks quite good. So I, I wonder if consumers would be able to see a difference or not. And, uh, let's go on a web browser. Internet. And the funny thing is, it, it, for my eyes, for some reason, the super clean LCD seems brighter. It seems like there's more light coming out. I don't know if that's good or bad. more light coming out when I have kind of like a, it's not exactly the same page. If I went into, let's go back here, let's try to go in set, settings or something. Is it going to be the same screen? So now it's black. So we have the black comparison, Super Clear LCD, Tegra 2, Exynos, Super AMOLED Plus. I mean, they're, they're, they're both very awesome, but the, the, the cool thing is, is that this super clear LCD is not bad. It's also very bright. And if I go very close, I guess the resolution is the same. But this, this one is supposedly a little bit smaller, 4.2. And if we go back, we can maybe see it uh, somewhere else. And we can see that the screen is a little bit smaller. Maybe you can see it. Slight size difference. So the main difference is that when you go in black, this is real black on Super AMOLED, and here there's still a backlight going through, so it's kind of like gray all the time. You can have a real true black on LCD. So here, if you go here, you can see it's real, real black. If you go real close, it's going to be kind of grayish. But it was quite cool. And uh, here I can see a reflection of the light behind. If I turn this one here, let's just, it's just uh, let's try to see if I can get the reflection. To have an idea. It might be that the Super AMOLED is better outside a little bit, maybe. Because the light seems smaller on this side than here. Here's like a bigger reflection. Maybe. Maybe. 